About four years ago, I, uh, I can remember being in the house and everything was just kind of going very smooth. And I went downstairs and I felt this really odd pain in my arm. From here to here, I thought I was bleeding, literally. And I knew that I had to call 911. I had so many of my friends say, how did you know that this was gonna happen to you? When you feel that pain, you know to call 911. You, you just know. They were asking me all kinds of questions. I walked into the, into the restroom area and I just went straight down on my kneecaps and I held on to that phone. I could literally hear my sweat hitting the ground and I'm thinking, Mom, am I gonna come and see you? I knew I was in big trouble. And the next thing I know, these two guys are picking me up and I'm saying, what's going on, what's happening? And they said, ma'am, hold still, you're having a heart attack. And I'm like, I'm having a heart attack? You gotta be kidding. I, I couldn't believe it. And these guys, they were from McGonagall's and they were absolutely amazing. And the driver was awesome because when we were leaving, unfortunately, here's the other thing, when you see a siren and you see somebody coming in an emergency vehicle, you gotta pull over. And nobody was pulling over. They went up on sidewalks because their job is to save my life. And I'll tell you, it was a heck of a ride. I was falling around on the table, but they had me and that driver got me to that emergency room. The doctors were standing there, Dr. Burley and all the nurses, and it was all hands on deck at Sharon Regional. It was amazing. They came in that following morning because this was in the middle of the night when all this stuff was ending up. And Dr. Burley came in and he told me everything. And he said, boy, you're lucky to be here. It was all hands on deck. You flatlined five times. And uh, I want you to know that you had a, uh, your widow maker was completely blocked. And he told me, he asked if I had family history of that. And we do not. And he goes, you know, that's a good lesson, Debbie, for you to learn. Sometimes just because things don't happen in your family doesn't mean it's not gonna start with you. And so he told me the way I reacted is what saved my life. Not assuming, hey, it can't be my heart because my family doesn't have heart problems. Well, maybe they didn't, but I did. And so I'm glad I called 911 when I did. I wanna say be aware of what's going on with your body and what's going on around you. The American Heart Association on a daily basis is sending out information for you so you can educate yourself, not just yourself, but others, to understand if you are indeed having a heart attack. In July of 2017, um, I had left work. Um, I came home and uh, was visiting with my family. I uh, developed some discomfort in my chest, uh, collarbone to collarbone. It was more like a burning sensation. I automatically, being a nurse, went to it's GI related. Uh, about a half hour, 45 minutes later, uh, it became worse. Um, it was probably on that famous scale of zero to 10, about a five. Um, then it became an eight. Um, at that particular time, um, I started to get a little nauseated, um, feeling very weak, very anxious and restless. I tried to lay down, uh, was very uncomfortable laying down, developed a little shortness of breath. At that time, I said, well, maybe I should go to the emergency room. Got my husband off the tractor. Um, we went directly to the emergency room and we live very close, five miles away. So it took us, oh, probably, 10 minutes at the most to get to the hospital. Got to the hospital, um, right in the emergency room. It happened very fast. Everyone was right on it. Um, by the time I got there though, it, I developed that same pain in my left arm, uh, my jaw, my ear look, um, felt like someone was like, just punched me in the ear, um, very short of breath. Chest pain was probably at 10 at that time. I got to the emergency room within three minutes. There was four or five people at my bedside, EKG um, done, code STEMI called. I 
it was just such a flurry of activity at that time um, and very emotional. Um, I know the staff down there, everyone was very concerned. Um, I was still in denial until the doctor, the ER doctor handed me my EKG and said, I've called it, which meant that he called a STEMI. Uh, Dr. Ronnie McNella was at my bedside within five minutes and away to the cath lab I went. Um, waking up intermittently after um, a lot of sedation with the pain just being very, very worse and just, you know, asking Dr. Magnella, just hurry, it hurts so bad, it hurts so bad. Um, vessel was opened um, and it was like nothing ever happened. Um, it was all gone. Like it was like, I don't know, it was just like so phenomenal that I had no pain, no shortness of breath. I felt like I could go home right then and there at that moment. And if it wasn't for the care and the professionalism that I received, I don't think I would be here today. Um, I have no heart damage. My heart function is absolutely normal. And I'm off medication and I feel better now than what I did five years ago. The biggest takeaway of all of my event was that, you know, like they always say, time is muscle. Um, never deny it, never think, oh, it's a GI. I'll never, I, I'll appear foolish in the emergency room because it's just my stomach and not my heart. Don't take that chance. You need to go to the emergency room. You need to be checked out. It's rather safe than sorry. I think that's my biggest message. Again, I'd like to thank everyone at Sharon Regional Medical Center for all that.